Whew. Let's do this. I just hope I don't sweat a lot. Hello my friends, it's Nina. Welcome back to my closet. Today we are in for quite the video. Also, I didn't realize how strong my eczema is today. Recently, I made a video where I cleaned my closet. It is much more organized. We took out a lot of stuff. And in that video, I asked if I should try out all of my clothes in a video. I don't remember if people actually said yes to it, but that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to try on everything in my closet, summer edition. I'm not going to try on my winter clothes because we would be here all day. That will be in another video in the future even though I don't go out anywhere I have all these clothes I don't have a certain set aesthetic or look I just like wearing whatever I like this video has been done many times but I just thought it would be interesting to show you what my style consists of I'm going to start with my blouses then get into my dresses and then everything else here we're going to do pants t-shirts skirts I'm gonna try to show you everything I think I might change the angle a little bit now so my forehead will be in and out of the frame sometimes I'm going to just proceed with putting on my clothes. <laughs> Just to save time, I'll list as much pieces as I can down below. I'll leave links, all that. Let's do this. So this is the first piece. Most of my tops, I like to tie them up or tuck them into my high-waisted pants. You can just let it go as well, or you can also simply tuck it. The way I tie it is very simple. Basically, I don't button it all the way, tie it once, and then I'll just tie it one more time. It's very simple. Most of the time, it should stick out the right way, so it's balanced, and there we go. We're going to be here for a very long time. I have a couple more. I have this tan blouse, this sort of cream-colored blouse. These have little stripes on them. And then I have another short sleeve blouse. It is beige. It's so simple to throw on. It's sophisticated. I love these colors and the material's nice. You can throw on a bag, carry hand sanitizer, and you are ready for the day. And then next I have this top. It is a tie top. I'm not wearing the right bra for this, but you can barely see it anyway, so that's fine. I got this because it's a trendy look. This does have a scoop neck, so I like to just throw on a necklace just like that. Throw on a purse and you're ready to go as if I have somewhere to go. Anywho, I also have this top in a white color, in a nice beige color, and then a light blue color. You don't have to have so many colors, but I just like playing around with colors. Yes, you can also accessorize, throw on some sunglasses, a nice quick summer look. Here I have this striped off the shoulder top. I mean, you can wear it just like this, but you can also wear it off the shoulders like this. And then I have another one. This is also another striped top off the shoulders. I remember wearing this in my trip to LA. Good times. You may remember me wearing this in past videos. This basically just confirms that I look the same as I did two years ago. I'm just going to get my next long sleeve over with. This is one of my favorite tops to wear under tank tops, dresses, things like that. Here is a floral blouse that you've probably seen me wear many times. It has a nice square neck. I like the print of this. I like the sleeves. It's just nice to have some fun patterns in your wardrobe as well. Basically, these are the printed blouses that I own. I have this one. I have this greenish purple one. I have this white yellow long sleeve one. And then I have this red, orange, yellow blouse. And if I ever don't know what to wear, I can just throw these on as well. My style is basically about simplicity. I like to have something that I can always throw on and not worry too much about. Literally, it's just this and a pair of jeans. You can also wear these under some overalls as well. Printed blouses. My thighs are going through a lot right now. This is a long sleeve, very breezy. This one has no collars, which is pretty interesting. So it really just shows off your neck and your chest. It goes along with that necklace. I really am running out of things to say. It's a nice basic piece to have. I would wear this with some beige pants. Is it khaki? Khaki pants? Khaki? Really, you just can't go wrong with a blouse. I wore this backwards. Okay. <laughs> I think before I get to this final piece, because I want to wear different colored pants with this one, I'm gonna go to my cardigans. I kind of went all out with getting the cropped cardigans. I have this cropped cardigan with a ribbed texture. It kind of just reminds me of the winter, has cozy vibes. This is a little thicker than these. These cardigans don't have that ribbed texture. I probably wear this one the most. Here are just some tank tops that I'm going to throw on. This is a gingham cropped top. Very flowy, very puffy, but it's also very comfortable. And then this is a silk tank top. I usually like to wear some kind of long sleeve under but it's summer it's also nice by itself you can easily tuck it in and there we have it you can dress this up with a nice gold necklace something that stands out this is a gold necklace this is part of Jen M's collection with eight other reasons they were kind enough to send me the collection I don't have a lot of gold pieces but I've been loving it so something bold like that with a simple silk top a very simple look ah oh, the straps really cold got a nice simple bag ready to go. I'll show you my flannels and button-ups just because I feel like they're nice to throw on if it gets chilly, so I would include it in my summer wardrobe. I've returned with a simple camisole. I'm going to put on this. This is a beige corduroy button-up. It actually goes perfectly with these two pieces. It's lightweight. It goes right. I don't know how to show you. 
Oi! It's not too long, but I am also 5'7", so it depends on the person. I'll actually just lower it so you can actually see the length. But this is how long the top is, just to cover your butt. Moving on. That fell. Moving on, I have this flannel. It's a nice oversized fit on me. It's very comfortable. It's casual and effortless. It goes down all the way here. Good for those chilly days. This is an orange and dark blue flannel. And then this is a red flannel. This one is very lightweight, very bright. Goes well with my blue pants. And then finally, I have this silk shirt. I'm going to quickly change my pants. This silk shirt is definitely one of my favorite finds at a thrift store. Just fix it up a little bit. Hey! <laughs> And then I have a pair of high-waisted white pants. They're wide-legged at the bottom. Finish off the look with a nice purse. Get some sunglasses. And we've got a look. I also have these sunglasses. They're a nice triangular shape. My favorite thing to do is just have simple pieces and then dress it up with a bunch of accessories. I really like this outfit. But I think this was the last of my tops. I'm going to go on to my dresses. I have quite a lot of dresses to go through. I have some overalls. And then I think I'm just going to move on to my pants and some t-shirts. The angle is now going to change because you also need to see my bottom half for this. Ah, coffee break. This used to be iced coffee, now it's room temperature. No sugar, no cream, nothing. Just coffee. Now I'm going to put on my dresses. Here is a floral print dress. My mom actually got this for me. It is the same print as one of the blouses I showed you, but it's a dress. When I saw the printed blouse, I knew I wanted a blouse because I don't wear dresses often. But since I do have this, I'm going to keep it. Yes, I have two items with the same print. No, there's no problem with that. <laughs> this would be good for days at the beach or also just being indoors and wanting to dress up a little bit. On to the next. Next. Here is a black mini dress. This is just a nice basic to have. I thought it had pockets. This doesn't have pockets, but I like the shape of it. I like the length. I usually wear some kind of top under. It'll be a white blouse, a white t-shirt, but also it just looks nice by itself like this. It's a good start for outfits. You can wear something under, put a jacket over, play around with the shoes. I'm wearing avocado socks. I've actually never worn it by itself like this and I actually like it. And then this is what it looks like with a top under. I definitely prefer it with a top, but the possibilities are endless. I can wear it however I want to. This dress is navy blue. It's a little bit more fitted than the last dress. I think this dress just looks better with a top top so I have a top on. I enjoy the navy blue color. I think it's sophisticated and I like this little touch right here. I think that this color would go great with a brown bag. This hand sanitizer. We've got a nice plaid dress also perfect for the fall. As you can tell I do enjoy dresses that cut off here and I think it's a nice length. Makes the outfit fun. This is a gingham dress and this one is actually kind of unique. It's a wrap dress. So we've got a simple dress here and then we have these sort of flaps. Basically we're just going to wrap it around and it gives the dress a silhouette. This dress has a nice shape to it. It's a perfect length. It's comfy. Let me throw on some shades. If I had a hat, this would be the perfect beach look with my avocado socks. This is a white fitted dress with tan stripes. It has a cutout here, which makes it a little more fun. It really just fits nicely. This is another very fitted dress. I enjoy the sleeves of this. I also do like the fit, how it's kind of tight here, but then it kind of flares out here. And here is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's basically like a really long blouse. I love the color here. I love the length. I would describe this as a midi dress. The buttons go all the way down. It has this where you can tie at the waist for some shape. Got little slits going on over here for some flexibility. And I love the length of the sleeves. This looks perfect for a walk in the park. But I love this dress and it also has pockets. It doesn't get better than this. I also have it in this green color. I really love this color. I don't have a lot of green stuff, but this is like a nice earthy green. I think it would pair well with a red lip, which is fading off now because I've been changing clothes all day. <laughs> Now that I've got my lip on, I love the green and the red. I really am enjoying this color combo. And then here is my final dress that I'm aware of. I'm realizing now I might have a lot of clothing pieces that don't make it in this video because they're in other places. I also do have a laundry pile that I need to get to. Anywho, you've seen this dress many a times. This is a floral midi dress. I typically like to wear it with a t-shirt, but it looks fine without it as well. It's again a dress that I like to throw on, no hassle, never lets me down. And I think that is the last dress. I'm going to move on to my overalls. Here is this jumpsuit slash romper. Kind of looks like overalls as well. I really love the thin straps on this. I'm getting artsy cafe vibes. I love wearing this with a t-shirt. For some reason, I feel like a cartoon character as well. 
I appreciate that it has pockets and it's just very comfy to wear. I'm definitely now realizing I'm missing some clothes. That's okay, you've probably seen it in a past video before. But here are my light blue overalls. This is so comfy. These are wide leg. We've got a lot of room to move around. It's also very comfy that I can easily squat. I personally like wearing overalls. If I'm ever wearing a pajama shirt or a shirt that I'm not a big fan of and I need to quickly go out, then I can just throw on a pair of overalls and we've got a full outfit. So I have it in a light blue wash and I have it in a dark blue wash. This is a more classic denim look. Same size, same comfort, but I think they have different moods. You can also wear these with one strap if you want. Kind of for a more asymmetrical, trendy look if that's a trend these days. But overalls are one of my favorite pieces and that's it. <laughs> Those are the full body pieces that I wanted to show. Now I'm going to go on to my pants. I'm not gonna show every single thing. I'm just going to show my favorite bottoms. Let's do it. Here is one of my all time favorite pairs of pants. It is this wide leg pair of jeans. It's a decently light wash. They're high waisted and I literally wear this all the time. They're very comfortable. I can squat in them. I used to be kind of afraid of wide leg jeans, but that's also because I wore skinny jeans for a very, very long time. Now I love wide leg jeans. I just think they're super comfy. You will find me wearing this very often. I have these crop jeans that I got in Korea. They are quite cropped. My legs are kind of long for these pants, but I think they make a nice pair of summer pants. I like to wear them with my blouses, but these crop pants are also good for any time of the year. I wore these when it was really cold in Korea. My legs don't get cold as long as you have long socks. Here is a very comfortable pair of mom jeans. They are nicely cropped, high-waisted. It has an elastic on the back, which makes it very comfy, and I just love the fit of these. I love these jeans so much. I wear them very often. And then here are the final jeans I'm going to show you. These are just the most common pants I wear in the summer. These are also very comfortable. They're high-waisted and they have these distressed rips. You get a nice breeze in these. They're also cropped at the end. These are on the skinnier side so they have a more fitted look. I can't believe I almost forgot about these pants. These are some high-waisted wide leg pants. I wore them in the video already. I think it's nice to have some light colored pants in your wardrobe. This is definitely very summery, very breezy. And then I just have the same pants in a khaki color. I'm actually not the biggest fan of shorts, but I do have some pairs of shorts I want to show. They're of course high-waisted. I have a light wash pair. I have a gray pair. I have this fun striped pair with a very soft material. And then I just have a couple skirts that I go through, but mostly in the summer, I will go for dresses. But that is pretty much it for my bottoms in the summer. Okay, welcome back to this angle. Also, I found this shirt. This is also one of my favorite blouses that I thrifted. I can't believe I almost didn't include it. This is one of those tops that I love wearing under straps. I think you've seen this pairing before. I love the frilly detail. But now I'm going to go through all of my tops. This includes t-shirts, tank tops, other things that I didn't mention that is just up here. Because these are just t-shirts and tops that I don't really have to explain, I think I'm just going to do a montage. I'm not going to include my pajama tops because there's no real reason for me to do that. These are just basically shirts that I would wear outside during the summer. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I am back to the top that I was wearing in the beginning. That was basically everything I wear for the summer. There are some pieces that are missing. I don't know where they are. Some stuff is also in the laundry. But most importantly, I just wanted to show my staples and my favorite pieces so that this video is kind of useful. I hope that this gave you a look into my style. It is kind of all over the place, but I like it that way. As I mentioned, I will try to link everything that I showed in this video. I have a very big mess to clean up, but that is it for me. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.